A local toy store is going out of business, and they say it's all because of a bad check. Denver 7's Daniel Croyder explains what happened here and also has a warning from the owners. Now figuring out what's next. The shelves at St. Nick's Toy Store are packed right now. Newer toys, older toys. But not for long. We will be closing our brick and mortar February 19th. Um, this, after what they thought was a Christmas miracle, burned them bad. In early December, a man walked into their store. He said, I do a motorcycle toy drive, Toys for Tots thing. I'm like, great. Looked around for a few seconds, and then he came up to the counter and was like, I want one of everything. The owners boxed up all the toys and even closed the store since not much was left. After a few failed attempts to charge the customer's debit card, he eventually gave them a personal check for $56,000. When we checked our account, everything was there. The man brought a truck for all of the toys. The owners even helped him load it up. We figured since we had been blessed with all of that, that we were going to go bless other people and bought a bunch of food and a bunch of like supplies, socks and toothbrushes and that sort of thing and made bags to hand out to the homeless people. And we also spent $500 at the Ark getting them gift cards. A few days later, all of that money was gone. It was a bad check. It just made our stomach drop. It was terrifying. Some of the toys have been returned, but only after the busy holiday shopping season was over. We did miss out. Nobody is looking to buy the stuff now. Um, and now we have twice as much as we did before because we had filled the store about 60% um, after we had cleared it all out. And so the store was 90%, 95% full before that. And so you now we have stuff on top of stuff and no sales. Longmont police tell us they are in contact with the person involved. They have not filed charges, but say the investigation is ongoing. It's all too little too late for St. Nick's. They can't afford rent. He could have gone into anybody else's business and done this and it's not right. Police say the best protection for large transactions is a cashier's check. That way the funds are guaranteed. Probably some poor decisions on our end, you know, by not going off of the decline card and just putting too much trust. But we, I guess we were just excited, you know, as anybody would. In Longmont, I'm Danielle Croyder, Denver 7. Oh, what a shame. And the owners of St. Nick's here have set up a GoFundMe, and they hope to use the funds raised to hire an attorney and get their online website up and running. And we have a link to that GoFundMe on Danielle's story right now on Denver7.com.